octopus <clears throat> I got some mussels <clears throat> Eleni loves shrimp so I added, got some more shrimp and this is the fun part we need to get some water ready hold on and now I'm gonna wash them That's enough. <coughs> I got some. This one first. Ready, love? Seafoods, live seafoods here in Alberta. They're very expensive. All right, that's the lobsters. Wow. <laughs> so, um, I did a little bit of my research on how to do um, crab oil, um, and um, from all the people that I've seen do they pretty much just put everything that they want the spices that they like but majority of the um the things that people use are the old bay that's one of the key ingredients because um it's for seafood technically um but i looked into the ingredients of all this and um i just couldn't find one specific ingredient that um, i have but i'm gonna put all of those together um so i'm gonna start with i don't use mushroom mint so what I what people do usually do is just they just kind of put stuff in there <laughs> as they go, um, and they kind of just put some ingredients as they like. So we're gonna put a little bit of an old bay in there. So we're, just remember we're just boiling things up, and then we're gonna make sauce layer. So I'm gonna put I like garlic, lots of garlic. So our water is boiling right now. I'm gonna put some pepper. Just kind of just... And then um, bay leaf. I like putting bay leaf because it gives them that like nice scent to it. And it kind of get rid of that um, seafood smell. And then we're gonna put some potatoes in. We're gonna cook our... Um, Heavier ingredients. Seafood doesn't take that long to put it uh, cook, so I'm gonna put on those potatoes and our corns. I'm also putting lemons. I've seen people put, put some lemon, and so I'm gonna do that. I like citrusy stuff, anyways. Um, onions. I don't bother cutting them small because you're just using them to flavor it because you're not gonna eat that later. Um, and then uh, garlic. Like I said, I love garlic. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put all our corn in. Did you crush those? Nope. No. Just, it's just flavoring, so we're not gonna. Yeah. But the crushing must be And then I'm gonna put a little bit of. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna put all that. So we'll let that boil for um, like 20 minutes, and then we're gonna put our seafood scene. So if you're putting some clams onto your seafood broil, you make sure that you clean up the shell because um, shells um, tend to collect all these um, sediments because like they're coming from the bottom of the, the ocean, right? And so the, the bottom of it of all those gunks, see, I don't know if you could see that. So make sure you clean those off really well. That's why it's important to soak up all your seafood before you cook them 
so that it gets rid of all those, loosens it up, and then um, it gets rid of all those um, buildup before you eat them. So while we are waiting for our corn and potatoes to cook, we are doing going to be doing our um, sauce. Um, the butter, melted butter. Make sure it's nice and melted. Once that's all melted, put your garlic in. I love garlic. Like I said, there's, um, there's, those are your garlic. Let that cook a little bit. Mm. So good. And then I'm going to put a little bit more Old Bay. It smells so good when I do put that actually. I really like that Old Bay now. Onion powder. Pepper. Some paprika. Paprika, I like because it gives that extra color to what I'm cooking. Um, some more garlic powder. Let that mix in and then look at that. Oof. Perfect for a sauce for your crab boils or seafood boil. Oops, I dropped something in there. Um, and then let's wipe that up a little bit. And then, yeah, let's mix those in. Once that all is ready, we are going to be separating some sauces for LNA and Averland for the kiddos because we will be putting some um, chile in there. Um, mm, notice something on the bottom there. We have put a little bit of sugar to, um, to sweeten up a little bit of our sauce. Um, and that's something that is, I'm trying to melt over there. The, um, and then we are putting our chile. So, um, you pretty much can do anything you wanted with the sauces. Um, and that makes it super, super really nice. Um, and then if you don't like butter, you can do any type of sauces, really. You can use soy sauce, you can do some vinegar. Um, it's up to you. But this is something that I have found and that's we have, we are trying and, um, it's super good. And John loves butter. There you go. That's looking really nice now. The sugar in the bottom has melted a little bit more. And yeah, keep cooking. Look at that nice brown color of that. Mm. So um, we just checked our potatoes. They're kind of tender now. So we're gonna put some of our um, ingredients, our seafood. Um, I would put your, um, I'm going to put the clams first. Actually, I'm going to put the octopus first. They're a little bit tender. Or we need to put those first. I don't have to put octopus, really. I just pull any legs in. them first. I'm so sorry, cats. I'm so sorry, monster. We love you. Okay, we're eating you. That's how easy when you love your children too. We cook them. <laughs> Bye, lobsters. Clearly, we don't eat that much of a 
live seafood here in the Philippines. Yes, we have tons of delicious and crabs. I remember when we went um, on our honeymoon, actually, we were island hopping and it was fresh fishes, crabs. It was really good. Here in Canada, fresh from Alberta, where do you get them? Here. Nowhere. Our tiger shrimp. I'm tiger because of all the stripes. stripes. And they're huge. So excited to eat them. <laughs> and we are done. Mm -hmm. 